Hello all. Thought I'd do a real quick video. Uh, this is about battery rejuvenation. Um, this is a battery that I got out of a junkyard. I think I paid ten dollars for the core. And I've got some wind turbine projects as you may know. And uh, batteries can be expensive and there's always been a problem trying to rejuvenate these and there's a lot of conjecture about this, that, this, that or the other thing or what you can add to the battery. But this is just a, a battery that I've taken. I washed it out, drained out the um, battery acid of several batteries. Um, and uh, just rinsed it out, uh, not, not with uh, just shaking it up and then dumping it out and uh, letting that settle. And then I've taken the, uh, the old battery acid that's been decanted and just put it right back in. And um, uh, as charging this, it, uh, you'll lose some, some water. Um, and I've replaced that with battery acid, not distilled water, just recycling the acid from old batteries. And if I find one that's got a... a um, a cell in there that's completely dead, then I will not try to rejuvenate it. But if I throw a little bit of juice to it, and I've got a reading that's equal across all the cells, and I know that there's no cells that are, are destroyed, then this, this will work very easily. And all I've got right here, a standard battery charger will not work. It'll just tell you that the battery is bad, and it'll refuse to charge. But this is just a regular old laptop. I've got several of these around. You probably do too. From an old laptop, and if you read this, it's a 24 volt, um, 1.73 amp uh, charger for a laptop. And all I've done is cut the ends off, figure out which one was the positive, which one was the negative by plugging it in and, and testing it, seeing if I have a negative or positive reading. And I've marked the negative right here. And then I've just simply hooked this up and I've let this charge now for about two weeks. So this is not a fast process, but it, it really works. It works very well. And it's brought this battery back to uh, nearly 100% uh, life here. So if I can do this with one hand, I'll try. See if I can uh, maybe just stick that in there. And uh, you can kind of watch this cycle. So right now this is uh, uh, reading about 15.79. And uh, it, it will drop down, and you'll see it cycle here. Um, once again, it's a 24-volt charger, so when this kicks in, it's giving it 24 volts, which is an overcharge, but because this is a laptop um, charger, it's very, very safe. It can only give a maximum of 24 volts at uh, 1.73 amps. So you're talking like 48 watts. So this battery's been on here for two weeks, and it's, it's very, um, very cool to the touch. Everything is. Um, not much trouble with uh, outgassing. I overfilled it a little bit, but um, uh, not too much. And you can see that it'll run through a cycle here. So there we go again, ramping up. And by overcharging this, what we're doing is causing that, those plates to desulfate. And your standard uh, alternator will not go be uh, above 14.4 volts. And so I'm basically equalizing this battery by using nothing more than a laptop charger and, uh, and time. Um, if the battery acid is weak, you'll lose some water. You just add battery acid from another old battery that you have. And this, uh, this battery is now, when this kicks off, reading about 14, 14.1 uh, volts. Um, it's basically at, at, at uh, full charge. And um, it's ready to go back into service. It's probably going to be good for another four or five years. Um, and uh, I'll probably leave this on for another day or two just to make sure that we... Uh, I like to see the charge hold about 14.4 when this kicks off. And um, that's as good as you're going to get right off the shelf. So once again, um, if you've got any questions or comments, let me know. But uh, this, this has been working out for us really well, and I've done several batteries this way now. And, um, you know, yeah, we're about 14, 14.08 or 14.1. It drops down to when that kicks off. And it just keeps cycling back and forth, back and forth, monitoring what that will take as a charge. But unlike a standard car battery charger, it will not give you a, a bad battery and refuse to charge. It will just simply continue to give that 24 volt pulses of very low amperage 
and um, it'll bring that battery back. And uh, once uh, there it is again, it's going to go through a cycle. It ramps up. It senses that it's not taking a, a charge. Uh, once the voltage goes above a certain, and if I stop talking, you might be able to hear the the small bubbling or gurgling going on in there. And it drops back down. Excellent way to rejuvenate a battery using nothing more than old battery, uh, battery acid from several used batteries that you can pick up very cheaply. And um, yeah, uh, try it out. Tell me what you think. I'm sure you've got uh, one or two of those laying around the house right now. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you.